Fantastic. <laughs> I wanted to feel centered. Yes. I feel like if there was anybody whose social anxiety was scared of, it would be you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do you have a best scar story? A best like scar a, story? Yes, a single scar on your body that you feel like is the most memorable. I mean, all my most of my scars are from cutting in middle school, but um, <laughs> I'm trying to think. There's a scar on my nose. And uh, it's from when I broke it the fifth time. You broke your nose five times? Yes. What was the fifth time you broke your nose? Okay, so what we're happened? in the lake, East Texas, where there's like boots hanging on lines. Boots hanging on lines? Yeah. Okay, what, what do you mean by that? So whenever a cowboy dies, they put his boots on a line. Like out of respect? Yeah, my, we went and saw my uncle's boots. Anyway, we're in a lake and we're playing King of the Hill and I'm like, I'm gonna win this. Yes, there's teenage boys, but I've got what it takes. Hey, you're and competitive. I was, I was you're competitive. and I was like in middle school. And um, I got flung into the water as it happens. And this girl who's more, even more fiercely committed than I is kicking and screaming and fighting with her life because her brothers were the teenage boys. But as she's thrown into the water, her knee collides with my face. And blood gushes everywhere. Oh, um, Did you go to the emergency room? No, probably should have. Okay, how about this? All right, what's up? What's a what's a chance encounter with somebody that you think has changed your life forever? Like there was a before and after. Okay. So um, <laughs> you know the um, toilet spray. Like. Poo-pourri. Yeah, the poo-pourri. Poo-pourri. Poo poo yes. <laughs> the poo-pourri. <laughs> the poo-pourri. Here, let's walk down these so, stairs. So, um, she, I met the CEO. At the time, I had just finished writing that ADHD curriculum that I created, and I had taught it at a school, and we were there for like an entrepreneurship thing, but I was getting tired of like talking about ADHD all the time. I was getting tired of like having mm. to self-promote it was just like kind yeah. of that, really exhausting um, trying to convince people to like care about why learning about your brain is so important, why it matters to mm. learn about your child's brain. Yeah. And I was like, how do I take this further and make it sustainable? Okay. Um, what would you do? I talked to her and I was like, I'm exhausted. What do I do? I've been working on this project for like five years. And she gave me some incredible advice about like... Creating a bet your brand. Sorry, uh, no, you're not. A, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, hey, this is so delicious, by the way. I know. Wait, sorry, go on. I didn't want to get you off topic. Oh, no, you're good. And so she talked about Flo and the lady who does like the poop poop eat with a dog. And she, um, she's like, we have like a whole binder about this persona and like what it's supposed to be, what mm. she sounds like, what she looks like, um, her accent, her mannerisms. She's like, give it a life of its own. Give your brand a life of its own and like put it in writing so that you don't have to recreate it each time you yeah. do something. You can just mm. have it to refer to and it's its own identity, it's its own persona. Mm. And that gave me more hope for the new life of this thing I was creating. Okay, so for you, Miss Lexi, Yes. Adventurer, uh -huh. writer, okay. learner. Mm -hmm. What is something that you think other people should do and experience at least one time in their lives? Something that terrifies you. Something that you think you're unqualified for. Mm. And then just go to a short school for that. Um, I went to Whitewater Rafting Guide School because I wanted to feel fully alive. I wanted to feel all my nerve endings fully activated. Did it work? It did, it did. I was like, shh. <laughs> um, I'm so and I'm like, what the f Here, like I, I loved way. it. And I had a wonderful, wonderful time. Um, but they're also wanting, you know, the first day the instructors take us down, right? And they're like, day yeah. two, you guys are going to take each other down. And I say mm. take each other down, I mean like be the guide and call out the paddles. And I'm like, I don't understand hydrology. We're in um, high water class two and three rapids but because it was such a high water season because it was snow melt it was on the american river yeah and it was cold they were like class three plus rapids 
Okay, so um, for, the, for the uneducated, like, would yeah. you tell us what like a class three rapid is? Like to, a, to an it's illiterate a person like myself, what does that mean? Class one is flat water. Class two, you can, you'll can you still have white water, depending on like the, how severe um, of a class two it is. Okay. You're going to see those, when we call it white water, it's because of the crust, right? When right. you yeah, see yeah. like waves and stuff, yeah. it has that like white crust. So I've done class two rapids. I might yeah. have even done class three at one point. I think in Colorado, on the Colorado mm-hmm. River somewhere. That's a great. And river. I was scared shitless. <laughs> yeah. I was scared shitless. And the water. This is before I had like any knowledge of cold water exposure. Uh-huh. So it would oh. be like every time a wave would like lap over the boat in these rapids, you get splashed with like forty degree water. So everyone on the boat would be like, Oh. Were you guys in oh. uh, dry suits or wetsuits or what? No, we were in like regular like what moisture wicking clothing, moisture wicking clothing. But still, every splash. So you just cold. get. So you'd see rapids coming at you and be like, oh god, please, please, <laughs> anything but more water. <laughs> now I'd probably That's enjoy cold it. water. It is, bro. Uh, we're, we're going down these things, and I remember being like, oh. <laughs> will I survive? Of course I'm going to survive. Everyone has training and rescue now. And I'm with the instructor. So we had an instructor per boat. But okay. like, it was also, there was like a lot of like, oh shit. Because at one point we knew enough to be like really freaked out. We knew like things that could kill us. And I still didn't understand what like an eddy was. And if you don't know what it is, an eddy okay. is essentially, so you have a river. Actually, this is perfect. Yes. So you have a river and you see how this part like kind of curves in here? Yes. So river water is actually going to flow here. And then it kind of just does this thing because it's a little alcove. That's an eddy. Okay. Oh, it's just like a little, it's a little curly cue of water. Yes. It's a little curly cue. It's a little little whirlpool. And so when you're swimming and you're in like rapids and you're like going through things um, and you fall out of the boat, swim to an eddy and it will hold you essentially in place. So you get rescued. It's pretty, very cool. All right. That's life-saving information. I didn't understand that for like the entire trip. (laughs) Um, So we're just like in this thing. And then, like, on our, we did this 21 mile trip. And they're like, hey, you do the first rapid. I'm like, okay. Hmm? I have six people on my boat in addition to me. And I'm supposed to tell them, like, how to do things, tell them when to paddle and such. And I'm supposed to be doing, like, all these fancy maneuver ring. And this is, like, day five. Like, oh I have. N- the first rapid of the set was Meat Grinder. And. <laughs> It's a three plus the first, rapid. I'm sorry. The first rapid is called Meat Grinder. <laughs> For good reason. Because it's Here, a walk. few miles long. And there's all these rocks. And you're just getting like slapped back and forth. <laughs> so somebody, some people fell out on the Meat Grinder one. <sighs> and so I, had, I carried a lot of guilt from it. I put somebody who now was like, she had like a panic attack essentially in the water. And she didn't panic. Oh. She had an anxiety attack. Um, it was like, oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. I'm going to die. Like kind of thing. Mm. She was fine. But I felt carried so much guilt over it, and I had to work through it the next few days. Do you have a conversation with her? You know, maybe that would have been a great idea. I was too busy feeling guilty. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the last day, I led um, Satan's Son. There's a rapid called Satan's Son, and it's real tricky, and it's really hard to maneuver. But I did it, and I remember the, being like, I don't know what I'm doing! And he's like, just go straight. And I was like, I don't know. Or he said some kind of lingo. And I was like, I don't know what that means. It's like, to starboard. But my to the body board. knew what it was doing or my training did. And I aced it. Like, I did it absolutely perfectly. I wow, congratulations. Just like, oh, my gosh. I had so much doubt in myself. And I was so terrified. But you overcame the doubt. Okay, well, just, you know, paddled Kinda through it. You paddled. There wasn't another you option. You literally did. You had to put your game face on. There was not another option. And so I think doing something wow. that completely terrified me like that showed me like what I can do, what I'm capable of, when I mm. trust myself, even when it doesn't feel like I can. I, I can trust my mind. I can trust my body. And we can do really scary things. Yeah. To somebody else who's trying to overcome yeah. scary things in their life, challenges that they have, mm-hmm. to have to face for some reason or another, would you have any advice for them? Find wise people around you who've been through it before. Perfect. Yeah, if I was, and then perfect. just paddle paddle through the fear. Paddle through the paddle fear. Paddle through the fear. You'll figure well, it out. Trust yourself. Trust well. the process. And trust your training. But do train, please. Yeah, do train. Do, do train. Uh, speaking of good training, if you have someone else 
you think a conversation could go well with, please tag them below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time, for your energy, and thank you for hanging out with me for a little bit. That being said, you guys have a good day.